Tommy, back to league action this weekend. Obviously a familiar foe in Eastleigh, who we overcame last weekend in the FA Trophy, but uh, league action. So what are your thoughts ahead of this one? Um, well, it's part of a schedule that we're in the middle of that's really, really tough. Yep. We had to go down there last weekend and it was a really hard-fought game and we, we squeezed through that tie. And obviously we've gone up to Stockport on Wednesday and back on the same day. So we had a, we had a long sort of Wednesday, Thursday, but you know we've, we've regenerated the guys, we hope, well enough. Um, and we're looking for another good performance. We've had a really good spell of more than a month now, to be honest with you. And we're, we're in a good place, I think, mentally as a club. Um, and physically, we don't, we've got to just keep as many of the lads as fresh as we can all the way through the festive period because we, the schedule ahead of us is really, really difficult. We obviously trained today. Um, I'm sure it wasn't that intense, was it, with another game tomorrow? Is that a bit of a tricky situation, getting that balance in for the lads this, this week? Well, it's, it's a shorter turnaround, isn't it? It's not like a Saturday to Tuesday night. We, we didn't get back. Most of the lads probably wouldn't have got into their beds till around half past three, four o'clock in the morning on Thursday. So yesterday was a washout. They wouldn't have done much yesterday. We've, we've got them back on the move, but we've got the information we need, or we feel we need, into them. Um, we've just kept them off their feet. We're in a strange situation that out of the six games that we're going to play, uh, six out of seven games is going to be against three teams and that's quite unusual you get it at Christmas everybody gets it that you do the turnaround game but we've had obviously Stockport twice we're going to have Eastleigh twice and then we'll have um, the two period, the festive period games you know Boxing Day and New Year so it's, that's a strange situation but that does mean we don't have to keep showing them new stuff on their feet we can just if you want you know reawaken what we've, we've talked about when we played them the first time. Exactly, you know, I know you guys back, back behind the scenes do your due diligence on the teams, but does it make it perhaps a bit easier when, you know, the players have played against those teams literally a few days ago and that they should know what they're up against really? Yeah, I mean, there's a little, a little bit of cat and mouse, isn't there? The teams might be the same, they might slightly be different, they might be a lot, a lot different because it was an FA Trophy game as opposed to a league game. But um, I think our, our team will be picked on the back of the fact that we're aware of how, how the fatigue levels of certain may be higher than others because of the game that they play. So, you know, we, we might look at it that way. But ultimately, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's the next game in front of us and it's the most important one. So before you ask me, I'm not looking at any other game. I'm only looking at that game. So um, the good thing for us as a, as a group after Saturday, we haven't got another game for us for another Saturday. So we can give them a little bit of rest after this weekend. But now we'll be, you know, full, full steam ahead and, and looking to get a positive result. And there's obviously positivity with a few extra bodies in that squad. Stuart O'Keefe obviously came on in the, in the dying minutes of, of Wednesday and, and Ollie Scott as well has made his return, for, thankfully so, on Wednesday. So yeah. to have those two back is, is just brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, there's those two. There's also Harry Gando and Oli Bray were very close to coming into the fray on um, Wednesday night also. If it had gone in extra time, they would have certainly been on the pitch. So we were just talking there as a staff. We, we've got really good options in all areas of the park now because... I'm going to look behind me on Saturday and I think I'm going to have four lads sitting in upstairs and that's that's going to be the hardest decision for me to have to make when I'm picking the starting 11 and obviously the lads who will finish the game but the lads who are sat behind a little bit further and aren't involved must stay focused and be in the moment because like I said about the schedule coming going forward over Christmas and the new year is really 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 hard. Obviously, technically, in 90 minutes so far this season, we haven't actually beaten Eastleigh, but the confidence will be there, won't it, after the result last weekend. We know that we can do it, having come back from those two goals down. And obviously, the first meeting in the league was a bit of a strange situation, having to put an outfield player in goal. So, you know, it's, it's not that the lads won't have confidence going into this, is it? Well, you just said the team talk there, haven't you? So, <laughs> but, but, but ultimately, both, both games have been played and both teams have lost one man in each of the games. And let's hope we can keep 11 on each. Um, and have a really good game. You know, it's not not a long journey for them as it wasn't for us last week. So, you know, we should both be right up for it and uh, looking forward to it. And obviously, it's at the EBB Stadium, so something that will really spur them on is the support. We, we spoke after the game on Wednesday about the travelling support, how fantastic that was, and obviously the last game at, at our home ground was in front of a bumper crowd for the Stockport game as well. So mm. hopefully, a few of them have stayed along, haven't they? And, and they'll be there to spur on the lads, and that will be brilliant. Yeah, let's hope so. I mean, I, I'm under, I'm, I'm very well aware it we, we're just pre-Christmas, so a lot of people, you know, annually this is the weekend they would probably go out and do the shopping, but. We have created a stir this week and you know, hopefully a few will tag along, but we know the support that we've had this season has been excellent home and away, like you said, for the almost 300 uh, shots to travel to Stockport on a Wednesday night, which is a 450-ish mile round trip. We're really, really grateful for that, but 
whether they travelled or whether they watched us on TV, the support is felt and we, we, we'd be trying our best to give them another good result.